His heartbroken family has disclosed that the two-year-old starved to death next to his deceased father after the latter suffered a heart attack. Following his final known sighting on Boxing Day, 60-year-old Kenneth Battersby is thought to have suffered a heart attack. Bronson was discovered curled up in his pajamas next to him. On January 2nd, a social worker made her usual visit to their Skegness, Lincolnshire home. When she didn't hear back, she called the police. On January 4th, they paid another visit, but this time there was no reply. That day, the social worker got in touch with the police once more. It is shocking to learn that Bronson and Kenneth's bodies were not discovered until January 9th, when the social worker entered the house with a key provided by the landlord. Sarah Peace, 43, who is Bronson's mother, stated to the son that her son would still be alive if social services had done their job. However, they took no action. It's unbelievable to me. This cannot be allowed to continue unchecked. To keep our kids safe, we must be able to trust social workers. I've seen the post-mortem results. Because his father passed away, Bronson starved to death. They believe Kenneth passed away on December 29th at the latest. This indicates that Bronson would still be alive if the social worker had persisted in trying to get in on January 2nd after receiving no response. Melanie Battersby, the sister of Bronson, posted on Facebook that her beautiful little boy deserved so much better than this life. Bronson, you will always be a part of our family and my baby brother. We love you. A lot of anger inside at minute when I just want to remember his little smile and soft nature instead. She continued, adding that her head and heart were in pieces. He was flawless, mother of three before Christmas. Sarah had a disagreement with Kenneth and then last saw Bronson. According to a family acquaintance, the toddler loved nursery rhymes, loved watching the Comalon, and frequently played with his little tyke's drum equipment. On Boxing Day, Bronson's neighbor saw him for the last time before he passed away. The same neighbor was subsequently messaged by Kenneth, who wrote, Thanks so much for caring. It means the world to me and Bronson. The social worker texted Kenneth that same day to set up a visit for January 2nd. When she did not hear back from them during the visit, she called the police, and on January 4th, she went back to the residence. On January 9th, the social worker made the decision to use a key provided by the landlord to access the property herself. When she discovered Bronson and Kenneth's bodies, she called the police who arrived on the site at approximately 3.25 p.m. with paramedics. At the scene, the two were pronounced dead. In the months preceding his death, Kenneth's pre-existing heart problem and unemployment contributed to his severe jaundice. Bronson was also assigned a social services classification of vulnerable, which meant that social workers visited him once a week. The son added that it is aware that the social worker has chosen to take a voluntary leave of absence rather than being suspended. The Executive Director of Children's Services, Heather Sandy, stated, We are supporting the family during this difficult time. This was a tragic incident. In order to have a deeper understanding of the situation, we are reviewing the case in conjunction with partner authorities, and we are also awaiting the coroner's investigation results. Our sympathies are with the individual's friends and family. Police were made aware of the deaths of a 60-year-old man and a 2-year-old child at a property in Skegness at around 3.25 p.m. on January 9th, a Lincolnshire police spokesman stated, After investigations, the deaths are not being looked upon suspiciously.